All right, so expected values and games of chance. This is really where it all comes into play, as for most people will see it anyway. And this uh, expected value can be interpreted as the average payoff in a contest or a game when either is played a, a large number of times. Now, to find the expected value of a game, we basically are multiplying uh, the gain or loss for each possible outcome by its probability, and then we add up the products. So let's do this one. Uh, charity is holding a raffle and sells 1,000 raffle tickets for $2 each. One of the tickets will be selected to win a grand prize of $1,000. Uh, two other tickets will be selected to win constellation prizes of $50 each. And we're supposed to fill in the missing column in this here table. And then we're supposed to find the expected value if you buy one raffle ticket. Now describe what that means in practical terms and what can you expect to happen if you purchase five tickets. All right, so remember, if we purchase a ticket, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to basically lose two money if we win nothing. So we're going to lose $2 if we win nothing because you've paid it out. Now, if we win the consolation prize, you win 50, but you paid two. So you only are at gaining 48. Same thing goes with that thousand. So if you win the big grand prize, you win a thousand, but you paid two to play. And so you have 998 to gain. Okay. So you've gained 998. So a lot of these games of chances, you have to take your winnings and subtract off what you had to pay, okay? All right, so that's that. We filled in the table. So now the next thing it says, find the expected value. Well, now we just take that 998 times 1 over 1,000, and then plus, and now we have 48 times 2 over 1,000. And then we have plus, and then we have a negative two times, and now there's 997 ways out of 1,000 to lose, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug all that into our calculator, and we'll see what we get. And so if we do that, we're gonna take, uh, clear all that out, so 998 divided by 1,000, and then we had plus 48, times two divided by a thousand and then plus then we had a negative two and then that was times and then we had 997 divided by a thousand and hopefully it'll give us the fraction and it does negative nine tenths okay and since we're doing money here what would make sense is if we put this in uh, a dollars and cents so that's going to be a negative 0 0.90 because again it was nine tenths negative and that's 0 0.9 and so that would be what it would be in dollars okay so in the long run uh we're going to lose 90 cents per ticket bought okay now, it says, what happens if you purchase five tickets? Well, our probability will be five times higher because you're going to buy five more tickets. But guess what? We will still lose 90 cents per ticket on average in the long run, okay? And so in the long run, if we buy five tickets, five times that's gonna be 45, so that looks like we're gonna lose $4.50 lost in that case, okay? If we buy the five tickets. So that's what it means in the case of this, uh, where we do it, we're doing a raffle. Now, what if we do a different one? playing Kino, okay? So in the game of one spot Kino, a card is purchased for a dollar. If It allows a player to choose one number from one to 80, and a dealer then chooses 20 numbers at random. Now, if the player's number is among those chosen, the player was paid $3.20, but does not to get it, doesn't get to keep the dollar paid to play. Now we're supposed to find the expected value of a dollar bet. All right, so we're gonna have outcomes again. And so it doesn't give us a table for this one, but we're gonna make outcomes and we're going to say, okay, also, I guess we need probabilities. So outcomes. Well, if we win, let's call this win and then lose. If we win, we get $3.20, it says, but we don't get to keep that dollar, so we gain $2.20.
Now, if we lose, well, it's just we lose a dollar, okay? Now, what's the probability? Well, if we win, we're going to have basically 20 numbers out of 80 are winners. So that probability is 20 out of 80 could be a winner. Now, the number of losers, well, guess what? There's 60 out of 80 that are going to lose. So it looks like there's a bigger probability of losing than there is winning. So what is our expected value? Well, that's going to be 2.20 times 20 over 80 plus a negative 1 times 60 over 80. And if we plug that into our calculator, all right, so let's clear that out. So we have 2.2 times 20 divided by 80 plus, we had a negative 1 times 60 divided by 80. Now, you know, if we're doing money, let's just do it. So it's a negative 20 cents, it looks like. So we don't care if it's a fraction in this case because we know it's going to be money. And so it's going to be minus 0 0.20. So what does that mean? In the long run, lose 20 cents per ticket bought or I guess card or whatever we do. And these are cards, card purchased for playing Kino. Okay. All right. So that helps uh, hopefully for 11.8. And that's all I have for this section.